Tablet. Tablet! Oh, Whoa. I was not expecting it to be in there. Oop, I see wallets. Whoa, look at this coin. What is that? That looks very, very old. Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jesus, guys. We're at another storage facility and I bought an abandoned storage unit again. Not a one today, we bought two storage units today. So we're gonna be doing one today and one the next day. So two storage unit videos in a row, hopefully more than that. We paid $60 for this abandoned storage unit. So this one looks to be loaded with a lot of cool stuff. And without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, so let's get into it. Before we start digging, I wanna say one of the most interesting reasons I bought this one, I've never been in this facility, but we're literally directly across the street from Andrews Air Force Base, so no telling what kind of military stuff could be in here. That was the hope, and for that price, I had to go for it. Well, this is a heavy bag, though. It might be closed, but you know what? I'm not gonna hate on clothes anymore, because we made 300 and some dollars on Poshmark in like three, four days. It's been ridiculous. Let's see socks but i mean they're brand new with three dollar price tag on them so if there's a lot of them could the baby bundle them up or something like that so let's just rip the bag a little bit and see what else we got in there this whole bag looks to be full of like socks well it's probably a donate pile unless some of the new stuff is and we'll go through everything once we get it home of course to go in more detail i saw these in the picture too ah, they're more they're chims but they're like work boots instead of you know stylish chims but we might be able to clean these up. We'll work on these when we get home, and if they do get cleaned up, we usually get between 25 and 40 some dollars a pair of Tim's, but if they don't get cleaned up, maybe five or 10 bucks for somebody that wants to work in them. Let's check this out. That's heavy, what's the brand on there? Charlie Sport. Give me some info, guys. Charlie Sport, good. All right, they're right by that military unit. I wanna open it up and find like a taken apart AR or something. Come on, storage unit. Be nice to me. Right? At least it's not all closed. A digital scale. I swear if we get like another druggy unit, I'm gonna actually be mad. But it's like it looks like a little digital scale. Hmm, well, you know what? I wonder if this has a USB in it. We've been trying to get one for uh to measure our weight packages before so we know exact shipping costs. But I don't know about that. Let's see, what's in here? Ah, oh, that would have been nice. Hmm. Let's see what we got here. Chuck E. Cheese's, where a kid can be a kid, always. This has something in it. Not really. Uh, iPhone charger. An iPhone case. This floor is like cement, killing my knee. We got a whole bag of watches here. Check that out. Stainless steel back, if somebody told me. I was stupid in the past. I just assumed it was always stainless steel. But I mean, this has rubber, so you know it's not gonna be any type of real metal. That's a Ed Hardy. It looks like it looks like an Ed Hardy watch. Uh, that looks like a nice watch too. Look at the face on that one. The back of it's a little dirty though, but it should probably clean up. There's one actual metal watch down here. Let's see if we can get a brand on it. It's a stainless steel back. It just says quartz on it, so I don't know. It still looks nice. Earbuds. Is there a phone? No, just a phone case. It's a whole bag of wires. Just all kinds of different wires. A couple pounds though. Flashlight, does it work? Nope. Probably dead batteries, honestly. A couple other flashlights, another watch in there. Also, the brand on this one is Psycho. I remember somebody telling me that was a decent brand on watches before in another video, so. Maybe the other one's a psycho as well. Nothing else that I see in here besides random wires and things of that nature. A speaker, it looks like Bluetooth speaker, I'm assuming. Is it a speaker? That's what it looks like. Other than that, some random junk. What is that? Remember when everybody used to wear these things like 10, 12 years ago? I feel like everybody owned them. It's a golf bag golf bag. It's a military base. It should be a rifle bag. <laughs> uh, let's see, is it? Huh. What to say? 
Growlab. 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 <laughs> I'm reading it upside down. <laughs> All right, that. It's empty, though, whatever it is. What is it? Like this. A perch for a giant monster bird. Maybe. <laughs> a big Tweety. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of random things I saw in here like this too. What is this? Jumpstart. Jumpstart what? I mean, what is it? Somebody tell me what this is. Because I don't know. I'm confused about the two things you just pulled out. Yeah, and look. This grow lab thing. And what? The grow lab tarp thing. I'm assuming that grew plants or something in it or is it covered? It better be plants and it better not be what I think I am going off my mirror and luck. What is that? A bib apron? Stick wire, whatever it is. Huh. Not exactly sure. I can see the number 7328 on it, but that's about it. It looks like a hose end almost. I don't know. It might just be a thin hose. Mysterious so far. Hey, another biker helmet. And what is this? Uh, there's a tablet box and a tablet case in the back and all the freaking pieces of the tablet except the actual tablet. The damn tablet. Hey. It's okay. a Samsung Galaxy S4. All right. That's not too valuable. We found one of these before. I think it was like 15 bucks or something in the trade-in. But if it works, we can sell it on eBay. It'll be worth more than that. I don't know for sure. But definitely if we can get it on, worth more than that. Cancer sticks. Let's see. More cancer sticks. Boy, I love them. Let's see. What is this? A lighter? It's one of those torch lighters. Sounds like it was. I think it just added fuel. Other than that, well, guys, we might be getting exactly what I said every time we go to Maryland. So. Some zigzag or some off brand stuff. We'll see. Watch that whole cooler behind you before. Oh man, I didn't even realize that thing was there. Okay, we'll even smell it. Though. Check that out though. Nice motorcycle helmet. Somebody was telling me about stickers being out of date or something before, and <laughs> there's actually no stickers in here. What? <laughs> I was waving at my reflection. Uh oh. <laughs> well. You didn't see me very well. I think it's the only thing, only thing you saw was a blue but sweatshirt. There's no sticker on that one, so maybe it's new. Who knows? These are also, no, these are the bed razor things we found before, I think. They're just white. One dress shoe. What's the brand on it? Rock Pit by Adidas. Huh, haven't came across that one yet. A little car mat, it looks like. Looks like a car mat, but it's really small. Hot glue gun. I think I see another car battery in here, which is, I'm not gonna complain now since somebody told me you could turn them into AutoZone. It's true, you get a $10 gift card for these, so. I'll mark it, that's free air fresher just stuff for the car. <laughs> Whatever this is, it's really heavy though. Oh, I'll just put it right here. A jack. A jack. I don't really know. I haven't sold Jack yet. Hey, we were just, that was, was that a good ninja or, reflexes. No, okay. Yeah, let's just take If this works, we were just Yay. saying we needed one of these because these are like 10 or 12 bucks and we never went to got, buy it yet. So hopefully that works. That'll be cool if it does. Yeah. Stick. Another Tweety Bird perch. Mm -hmm. Some more random junk here. It's probably just trash. Unless somebody can tell me what it is and it's useful. Ew. <laughs> ugly shoes. That's really ugly shoes. Vibram. The same brand as the military boots. Huh? The same brand as the military boots. Oh, they were, weren't they? Let's see what we got in here. Hangers! Joy, a whole bag of hangers. I already have too many hangers. I think it's trash. What do we got 
on this one. Better not be more hangers. Yeah. Ties, dress clothes, it looks like. Any good brands? George, I see these all the time at the thrift store, so I'm gonna assume it's garbage or at least cheap. And all the cheap clothes won't go in the trash, they'll be donated, so. In the donation bin right in the parking lot. I know, that's great here. Oh, I see wallets. Dun dun. Please. Oh, something. Oh. Mm -hmm. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. I'm gonna throw it in the toolbox. I don't find it again and get it re excited. No. 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 Boo. Oops. That's some foreign money. Oh. What is it? Hmm. Guatemala oh, no. again. Oh, well, oh, what is that? Looks like it has writing on it though. Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Cool. Isn't that where Far Cry is? I think so. One of the Far Cry games is Far from Cry there. Four. All right. What is this? Tablet. 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 Oh, Whoa. I was not expecting it to be in there. Oh, it's just a nook. Ugh. So it's probably not worth very much, but. Nook. The smaller one, last one we found was a lot older and smaller than this, and it sold for 20 bucks within 24 hours of listing it. So that one could be good. It could be worth more than that. Should be at least. Mm. Doesn't have specs or nothing on the back of it. So we'll look into it. Mm. I could have been like an iPad. Dang it. I know we can make bank off that. Still cool. What else we got in here? Another wallet? Nope, phone thing. Um, let's see, let's see. What is that? I thought that was an iPod at first. Type Top Golf. Just are these gift cards? Gift card. Cool. I'll we'll check the balance on those. Gift cards is the are the easiest thing on face of earth to sell on eBay. Or just use the gift card machine, whatever. What is all this though? Oops. Well guys, here we are again. Some cheap edibles. Let's see, TJ Friday's card. Is that what that is? I mean, it says TJ Friday's. I don't think it's a gift card. It doesn't have numbers on it. There's a bunch of TJ Friday stuff in here. They work there. Vic card. Lowe's in store credit. I'll take that one to check. Swear is that American Express with somebody's name on it, I'm assuming. I don't know. AMF game card, in store credit for Lowe's. Radio Shack's gone, but. We'll still check all these. Walmart in there too. I'll definitely put these in here. These yeah. ones are meh. What else we got in here? Any desks? Is that more foreign money? Mm -hmm. 20 pesos. Oh look, some coin rollers too. And hey. This ripped. Really cool. I wonder if this has anything on it. I wonder if it's been activated. It's still in the box, so probably not, but if that's been activated, that's definitely gone in my pocket. Closer to this. Mexico? A car wash token. I'll put that in my pocket as well. Pockets are going to get filled up fast. Some random envelopes in here too. Last time we found foreign money guys, that was a good sign. A very good sign. But some of these envelopes are just going to have to be checked when we get home. Because if I checked every single one here, we'd be standing here for 45 minutes. And I wanted to get my deposit back today. <laughs> so we'll definitely check it and let you know in a recap. But from what I can see, looks like nothing. I'll put those cards in here too. More mail. What's this? This looks like almost like PSP size. No, actual pens and pencils. Boring. Boring. Propose. Oh look, Andrews Air Force Base says it on here. So we do have somebody from the military, I'm assuming. Some cards. Another phone. Mm. It's an iPhone. Nope, no, it's not. It looks like one. But that screen is destroyed. Just an old Cricket. I know Cricket's a crap brand. Some people will praise it though. I've noticed that. Cricket's one of those brands that everyone just says is terrible or you love it. It's one of the two. Yeah, open up. Nothing in there. But definitely. What the heck is that? Whoa! 
Yeah. Look at this coin. What is that? That looks very, very old. Like extremely old. That better not be a reproduction. Hmm. That looks very old and very interesting. It's got some type of foreign writing on it. I can't read it. It's not English. Ah, oh. look on the back. Copy. Dang. Well, thought I had something cool for a second, but who knows what else could be in the bag. We'll do more searching once we get home, like I said. Hey, going to this one. Jordan, what is this one? Uh, Jordache. Jordach. Jordach. See how clueless I am with brands? Nothing. Probably clothes, but we're gonna look anyway. Yeah. At least we can go up to the stuff in the parking lot and get rid of the donation clothes right here so we don't gotta take them home. What brand is this here? Zudo? Uh, let's see. I like the color of this. Eh, maybe not the design. Yeah, that's not me. 3XL though. I don't know. It might be me. <laughs> it looks nice. I like everything black and red. If you can't tell, black and red is like my color. It just says Echo on it. Yeah. Anything else? The rest of it looks like clothes. This facility is so nice looking from the outside. Like so clean, which is like a real change for Maryland. But then they have no carts. So all this is going to have to be carried by hand. Exciting. Yeah, it's like stuck. Get off. Whatever it was is empty now. Yeah. Airplane above us. Yeah, we were right by the base, so. This junk hopefully fits in, fits in the trunk. If not, we're going to be in a crappy situation. Let's see what's in here. Hey, shoes. BK British Knights. Gotta say, never heard of that brand, but they look like they're trying to rip off Jordans, don't they? Mm -hmm. So it's probably just a knockoff, but maybe not. Who knows? We'll look it up when we get home. And then are these Converse? They're not even Converse. They're something else. So that's not a good sign as far as clothes go. What do we got here? Oh, that's like empty. It looks like a military style bag. Open. And just because it's green? Yes, just because it's green. And where we're at. <laughs> Looks like a bunch of socks again. How many socks does one person need? All of them filled with money. That'd be nice. That would be nice. Like I said, we'll check that kind of stuff once we get them home. But other than that, also not a good sign. <laughs> Wait, is that what I. It doesn't smell like it, so maybe not. Look at these <laughs> things hiding over here, stuck to the wall. Do they work? Hey. One out of two, that's not bad. <laughs> cool, I guess. I don't really know what their value is. I can't imagine much, but something. All right, what is in here? This one's heavy. It's not closed, sounds heavy. Or hard, I mean. It is closed. Crap! No, it's like bags. Hmm, a bag of bags. Hmm. Airflow. We'll look them up. Maybe they're valuable. What is this over here? Ew. I hate that stuff. That rodent killer stuff. I mean, it's not, you can touch it all you want, but... This goes more to our theory of the plants. Mm hmm. Hmm. Piecing something together here. We are. Okay, let's look in this computer right there. Okay, it feels empty. Still. Yeah, it's empty. But, ugh. That's what it was. <laughs> oh, man. Look at the, you can see the bottom of it. Yep. It had pieces in it. Oh, that was strong. It's gotta go right in the trash. I do not like that smell. What is that, like stink smell or yeah, weed no, smell? Just, no, not weed. Just straight stink. I don't know what that is. It's got to go. I don't know what remnants are in the bottom. It just stinks really bad. Even the top one. I just, just got to smell open. it. 
in the unit. Yeah, it's definitely going right to the trash. Hey! Alright. Completely full of DVDs. I mean, this will probably be the clutter stuff just scanned through. Some of them are just burned copies. Some of them are real DVDs. Just a whole bag of them, so we'll go through and see what we have complete. The clutter, most likely. Eve. Watch that knife on my back. Ugh. Don't play with me. Well, here's that. Looks like just a tool thing. Carry tools around in. Stupid knife. Other than that, more lights. More lights. Metal brackets here. Did I go through this one already? I don't think so either. Let's see. More car mats, OxyClean, a pack of napkins, <laughs> joy. So, nothing too interesting. What about this? Hey, there's a pair of Nikes there. Honestly, disgusting. They're not too dirty. They'll clean up with the kit, but I don't think they're gonna be expensive. There's the other dress shoe. This has something in it, not much, but something. A shirt. <laughs> that looks like just about it. Car battery, like you said, another light. There's the other one of those shoes from earlier, and the other one of the ugly shoes over there as well. So, now we're gonna try to, hopefully, fingers crossed, fit all this stuff in the car. And then when we get home, we'll do a grand recap and show you everything we got, so see you then. All right, guys, now let's do a recap over this storage unit because we found a, quite a few hidden treasures in here that I'm really happy about. First thing is first, this nook, used like this condition, goes for 60 bucks. If this was new in the box, this is a $200 nook, which like kind of blew up. I hate saying nook. I don't want to call it a tablet because I guess it's not really a tablet, but this would have been $200 if it was new in the box. But for 60 bucks, that's what we paid for the unit, and that's the lowest I see them selling. Some of them are higher than that, so this will probably pay for the entire unit right there. We found battery. I mean, they're not really worth anything, but AA batteries. Usually it's some useless battery we can never use, but this is over 50. I think I counted 53 AA batteries still in the package, which will save a lot of money and time over the long run. Now, the watches. We have really good news when it comes to the watches. There was a bunch of crappy little, like, $5 watches, but first let's talk about this one. This one, what brand was this again? I forgot. It's a Kenneth Cole. Kenneth Cole watch. This one's selling for about thirty dollars to use. So, again, can't focus. It's too far away. <laughs> oh well. So again, it's going for about thirty bucks to use, and this one's in pretty great condition. But that's not the real gem. The that's real right. gem was this one. I found it in a little black bag hidden. It's a Michael Core watch, and we looked up the model number. The cheapest this watch is going for is a hundred and twenty dollars the cheapest some people are selling it for 150 to 200 so we'll probably put this sucker up on Poshmark or eBay I don't know yet for about a hundred bucks and that'll definitely definitely pay for the unit plus some extra on the side so really happy to find this there was in a little black bag I don't even know where I threw it but I don't know where the bag went but that was in a little tiny unmarked black bag. So happy to find that. I was hoping it'd be real gold, but still, it is just stainless steel. But the design is worth still over $100, so I was happy about it. Now, stupid cats. Now let's go further and talk about some of the gift cards. We did find some money. Not really, just $4. Not nothing too big. <laughs> no. Stupid subscriber counter. Don't go down on video. But a lot of foreign money here. We found one guatemalan dollar or whatever it's called there which i found out in the past video this is like maybe a dime about a dime i think it's like 12 cents on the dollar or something like that here so pretty worthless but cool another foreign bill and what is this one 20 pesos woohoo now the gift cards walmart card had two dollars or something on it not much again but mm -hmm. we have one from another unit that was a little bit too we'll save it up you can always shop at walmart this one had never been used. $25 gift card to Bass Pro Shop, all $25, still on it. 
Now, we don't have one of these around us, but when we do buy storage units out in Richmond, there's one there, and they have some of the best food I've ever had, honestly. So, we'll save that one for when we go back out to Richmond to buy storage units, and we'll have part of our meal covered. And now, let's go to this side. I found a golden spring assist knife. That looks pretty sick. And this might actually be the knife I start carrying with me to units now, so we always have one, but it is spring assist. And that looks pretty sweet. Look at that. I've never seen one that's just completely gold like that. Just imagine if that sucker was actually like real gold. Imagine how value that, valuable that would be. But obviously it's not, but still it's something cool to take around. One of the most disappointing things was obviously this old coin being fake. I know there's no way it's going to be able to focus on this because it's so tiny. But it does look really cool even though it's fake. It's just a remake of it nowadays version of this. So can't really focus Decent on focus. it. It's, it's pretty small, <laughs> but it's still something cool to keep. Maybe we'll keep this next time we do a lottery video. We'll get lucky with it. Yeah. Who knows? Lucky cool. Now, we also found some games, believe it or not. Okay, this one's not worth anything, but who else does this bring nostalgic memories to? The Oregon Trail on PC. Oh, man. Playing this in elementary school is like the coolest thing ever for some reason. I don't know why. It was like it was such a simple game, but just seeing people like, oh, your buddy died of smallpox or something. That, that was a funny game. We found Bratz Diamonds for the PlayStation 2. We found Sky Cooper for the PlayStation 2. And a second, wait, did I just name? Yeah, we did. We found two copies of Oregon Trail. Nintendo DS 2, unlike the GameStop Dumpster. Ugh. These are actually in here, but not the right game, is it? Mm -mm, nope, that's what I thought, yeah. <laughs> it's a Happy Feet thing, but the games are Imagine Fashion Stylist for the DS. Nope. <laughs> Too small. And iCarly for the DS. There we go. Hey, I can focus on that one. Why? I guess this one's a little brighter. But those two from there. So a couple DS games. We found this exact helmet selling for about 40 bucks on eBay with free shipping. So really you're only going to make about 15 or 20 on it. But still pretty cool. And for the people that are going to ask about it, there's no sticker that was put in here. So I'm assuming that means it hasn't been used yet. It's pretty much a brand new helmet. So... That's pretty cool. Maybe, I, I have no idea. I don't ride a motorcycle. I don't know anybody that rides a motorcycle, so it's very foreign to me. Now let's get into the shoes. Nice pair of Nikes. We cleaned these up a little bit. We'll probably clean up a little bit more. These are, uh, what were they, about 80 to $100 new. So used, they'll probably get about 20 bucks, maybe. About $20. We'll list these on Poshmark. By the way, all this stuff we find will be listed on Poshmark and uh, eBay over the next couple of days. But we are, do have a few more units coming up. This one, hey, there goes my subscriber back I lost. Thank you. <laughs> this pair, again, was like, what, $15 used or something like that. Not very much, but with Poshmark, they pay for your shipping, so every dollar is going to count now when it comes to clothes and shoes. So these will be listed on Poshmark, too, for probably 15 bucks, something like that. These, I'm surprised. I thought these were going to be like Bobo, like $10 Walmart shoes, but... Brand new, these are still like $75 or $80 shoes, which I was really surprised. So again, we'll probably list these for about $15 or $20. These are in a much better shape, as you can see, than the other ones. There's really not nothing on it besides this paint, but we're going to try to get that off. So, is that part of the, that's part of the design, is it? I'm stupid. Oh, yeah, the light gray on the... Yep. Yeah, that's... This is what I was talking about. Okay, right there, that little bit of paint right there. That's what it is right there. Hopefully, we'll be able to get that off. So once that comes off, these are in pretty decent shape. So we'll probably list them for like $15, $20 bucks or something like that. Now, we did end up keeping some of the clothes. A lot of the clothes did get donated, but we got a Redskins beanie here. Disgusting. Redskins suck. Is this the Ralph Lauren? Yeah, Ralph Lauren beanie. I also forgot to mention, the Tims are pretty beat up, so I don't think they're going to be repairable. We'll probably just sell these to somebody that uses them just for what their actual intended purpose is for work. So I'll probably get like 10 or 15 bucks for these. Usually, they're in good shape like more so 25 to 40 bucks for Tim, but those beat up things with paint on them, 10 bucks maybe. However, if you guys know any way to get paint out that will yes. work on suede fabric, leave it in the comments because I've looked it up and there's like different ones. I just want to know if it's worked for anybody. Yeah, because if we can get it off, like I said, that'll make us an it extra 20 bucks or so. The paint's off. Yeah, like there's no scuff or anything. It's just the, that paint. So we can get that paint off without damaging this boot itself. Definitely gonna make, make an extra 20, 25 bucks. This one, I don't even know about the brand. I just thought it was cool. And it was like basically brand new. It looks like it's never been worn before. So I was like, might sell for a few bucks. And we'd have to keep some other clothes from, from Poshmark as well. Like I said, a lot got donated, but brands we did keep. 
This is a Ralph Lauren like sweater vest type thing and this is an XL. And again, all this stuff will be on Poshmark over the next couple of days. So it, we do have a few more units to clean over the next day. At least we have at least one more, hoping to have more than that over the next few days. This one's also followed by Ralph Lauren sweater. And these are probably like, these are going, I see them on there for like $15 and $18 on Poshmark. So we'll probably put ours for like $10 or $12 just to get them out of here. But again, I think they're all XL. Yeah, that's an XL as well. We got a gray one. Kaboom. Oh, this is not, this is the exchange one. This is not, the only one that's not. I think we have one that's not Ralph Lauren. So that one will probably be a little cheaper than the rest. That's Armani exchange. Yeah. This one as well. It's Ralph Lauren, but this is not really the same type of sweater. This one's got the zipper. This one, I think, was a little higher than the other two, I think. But still, probably less than the same thing, like 10 or 12 bucks or something like that. And since we get so many units during the week, if Ugh. not in the next or by Friday, definitely this weekend, the stuff will be posted on Poshmark. Yep. It's probably what we'll have to do, to be honest. <laughs> weekend listing. Probably. Another polo by Ralph Lauren sweater again. X oh, no, this one's actually large. See, I'm lying. That's why I gotta check. And most of the shoes are around size 11. 11, yeah. 11 and a half. All the shoes are, I think they're all 11. Another, this one's like a lighter one. This will probably be like a 7 or $8 sweater, if that. And this one, this is not there. This is the one that I'm not really sure how to price, so this one's going to be on eBay. Maybe somebody can help me out. It's the Kugi brand, I think I'm pronouncing that right. But when we look these up, some of these are selling for ridiculously high prices. I mean like a hundred and some dollars to $200. So. I don't really know if this is one of them or if there's a certain design that sells for more. So if anyone has any info, let me know. But I'll probably end up putting this one as an auction on eBay just to see what we can get for it since, you know, some of them are worth a lot more than others. So we want to get as much as we can, of course. This, I think I'm actually going to end up just keeping for myself because I really like the color design on it. That looks pretty cool. Red and black, red and black. I think I might keep that for myself. Wall, red and black. <laughs> but boom <laughs> This is actually a glow-in-the-dark hoodie with a skeleton. You can actually close the hood and it makes like an actual skull. Pretty cool looking hoodie as well. I don't think it's in a big name brand. I think we found it selling for like 10 or 15 bucks to use. But again, with Poshmark. Poshmark is like open the door for clothes for us. You don't have to pay for shipping anymore. This is epic. Like we're keeping a lot more stuff that usually would be donated, but now we're selling. Same thing with the jean jacket. It's not really expensive. I think it was like 10 or 15 bucks to use. So we'll list it on the low end on Poshmark as well. Pair of jeans. These are, are these are Ralph Lauren jeans. Should be, yeah. yeah, Ralph Lauren jeans here. Same thing, probably 10, 15 bucks, something like that. Ugh, I completely forgot about this one. What was this one worth? Um, about not much. 20, 15 or 20. Yeah, so we'll sell it again. All the clothes are about the same price. Again, well, like all the ones that are selling for 15 or 20 on Poshmark, we'll probably put at 10 just to get them out of here. And we got a bunch of stuff for declutter, but it really wasn't worth much. It was worth like five or six bucks only. So, <laughs> oh, a lot of the other stuff was burned. Like literally, I would say eighty percent of those DVDs in that box were just all pirated, burnt copies. So they were all just pretty much garbage. But anyway, guys, that is gonna be it for the recap. Epic unit. Oh yeah, I forgot about them. <laughs> Sorry. I don't want to interrupt yeah. you. But I was like, they're still there. Yeah. <laughs> These, they are disgusting looking, but. They're still worth about 15 or 20 bucks you use. So. Like new condition. Yeah, I mean, they literally, look at the bottom. I don't think they've ever been worn. I mean, maybe once. And if they were worn, they'd be worn on something really clean, like only on the inside. But they're so ugly, but they're worth 15 <laughs> or 20 bucks. So I'm not going to judge other people. But guys, that is going to actually be it. So thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome treasure hunting videos every single day. Storage units, dumpster diving, thrift stores, all kinds of treasure hunting. We have another storage unit video. We've got a bunch of auctions we're going to tomorrow too. So hopefully we have more than just one more. I want to get like four or five again like last week. That's where the fun happens. And if you want to follow us on our social media links will be on the screen. Just click the links down in the description below. Make sure you follow us on whatever you have. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace out.